you've gotten to play with a ton of athletes. So we have to ask you, who are your top five favorite athlete gamers? Mm, I thought you were going to ask me who the best was. Oh, and hey, who's the best? We can do that too. <laughs> without a doubt, Devin Booker. Devin, Devin Booker, Booker, you think is the best? Okay. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't think. It's not even oh, a question. Oh, you know. Yeah. I mean, you play Call of Duty. You, uh, people should watch <laughs> Devin Booker play Call of Duty. I bet Devin Booker is actually better at Call of Duty than... 95 percent of the community i mean he's nasty I, I give him a lot of credit we play warzone and there'd be some games where he has more damage than me which is pathetic on my part but i think it's a testament <laughs> to how good he actually is so i gotta give it to devin booker as you know we're a sports show madden and 2k are so ingrained in how we cover sports as a whole now in your mind which simulation game is doing it right man i really love what nba has done from a like my park perspective yes. i mean i used to play the game a lot i haven't played it much in recent years but i think building a community around just basketball in general and the culture of basketball is, i think is really smart i mean i grew up playing madden i was going to midnight releases for like mike vick on the cover of madden 2004 so those games are always have a special place in my heart i think what's really tough about sports games in general is the schedule that they're on they're trying to release a game every single year yeah so that it really hurts them in terms of like how much depth the games have and how much replayability they have. Yeah. So I would love one year for EA or 2K, I would love for them to hire like an outside developer or another another team to come on and help them build games in the background. Ooh. And I'm sure that's what they do now, but make an investment for, for a, a game that can last years. And it doesn't make sense for their business and you know shilling out all these copies of games every single year, which sucks. But I just it's think true, they though. could be so much more impactful if they created a game that had more depth. Like the My Park is beautiful. So let's expand on it. You know, imagine they 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 came out with like mayors and like the cityscape and roaming around. Like, look how much success Grand Theft Autos have. Yeah. They they spend a decade building this game and it's played for decades after. So I know it's tough with rosters updating and players, but I would love to see just more investment on the actual quality of the game rather than trying to churn them out every year. You've teamed up with Excedrin. Tell us about this relationship and, and why it made sense for you to join up with them. Absolutely. Yeah. So I was excited about Excedrin just because it's been a product that I've used for my entire life. Well, as an adult, really helped out quite a bit. But for me, what was really special about Excedrin trying to reach the gaming community is their the authenticity. And clearly they care about what they're trying to provide for this community. I mean, I think with COVID, everyone's been playing a lot more video games. Even people that yeah. don't play video games have been stuck in their house in front of their computers, working nine to five, spending a, a much more time uh, in front of a screen. When I was younger and actually competing in professional video game tournaments, I was dealing with gaming related headaches, but I actually didn't realize what the source of it was. Uh, and so Excedra put together a mindfulness routine that has been clinically proven to reduce headaches uh, related to gaming or related to screen time. And they have been uh, a monumental change for me in my routine and taking care of myself, not only mentally, but physically day to day. So that's why I was excited. I just wish that I had this message and <laughs> resource a lot sooner when I was younger. I know back when I was crushing Crash Bandicoot, Spiral Mario Kart, like I wish I would have had it back then. <laughs> All right, hey, those are some classics. Good on you, I like Heck that. Heck yeah. Hey, sports fans, if you want to watch more sports seriously, be sure to check out these clips right here. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel to see all the great content from us here at USA Today Sports.